still listening. God, this is such a good art piece. Uh, I'm so happy. This is my background. After Yuri does her thing at the end of Act 2, you go through the whole 1200 text box without passing skip. You unlock a picture. That's actually possible? Oh my god. Bro, you're killing me. Could you have just lied to me instead and said there's no physical way to do it? it you just, you know, it, it's just an impossible picture to obtain. I'm gonna cry, man. Okay. I wouldn't lie to you about something. Oh, Flimpy! Oh, Flimpy! Uh, okay. I'm assuming the answer is no. All of the side stories say here, even if I continue the main game, correct? I don't need to finish all of the Sayori games or all of the Sayori side stories before I do the mainline quests, correct? Almost definitely. That does not sound like a 100% for sure answer. Oh, hey, is the audio working? Nope. What is it with Doki Doki and hating my audio? Every time. Because I don't think I've had issues with other, uh, other stuff. Weird. It's just the Doki Doki game. It's just how it's handled. How about now? check for myself but right now I'm getting an ad sounds fine to me perfect it's a really weird ad I'm not sure how I feel about it <laughs> I'm not sure that you should wiggle this much although I also did buy these for like ten dollars I did that like a year and a half ago and I have been using these every single day <laughs> right if I lose these side stories I'm gonna cry I'm just gonna make that very clear I'm gonna be very sad if I don't have a chance to play these side stories again oh <laughs> see I told you it stays as a it stays as whatever I had last otherwise ataraxia wouldn't have just changed it to being a cat I, I told you cyclone Is that I love you thing? They allowed it to be a dog yesterday. I, I didn't say you didn't allow it. I was just proving the point that there is no uh, d let December 8th forever be known as Doggo Day. The standard is it's whatever was left last time. Is it going forward? All right. Can I just pretend like this is the end of it? Sayori's actually happy. I go and, and she's perfectly fine. And we go on our first date to the, to the, the festival. Can we just say that's what happened? Please. I mean, you could just stop playing here. Easy. Yeah, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I have to figure out why Sayori is not answering her phone. 
I consider going to her house to wake her up, but that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes by myself, carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond, thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki before the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. If I roll a 1,000, then yes. Sure. Let's let's see this. That's not a 1,000. Haha, -ha, I rolled a 1,000 easy. <laughs> Joel, mine, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared to have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on a day is this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful. No, it's not that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Hold up. How do you know about that, Monica? How do you know about that, Monica? Huh? Huh, Monica? Huh? Is there something you're not telling me? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Siri really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? Didn't really plan on bringing it up with anybody yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Monica S. Fortunately, I don't have 641,000 points to get my die rolled to 1,000. <laughs> Just remember to try and load a file at the end so you don't have to deal with the active one ever again. I mean, yeah. I don't know where the end is. There's so many parts where you can click load. Huh? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets, laid out on the desk. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, almost giving it a professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's poems and Yuri's poems from the one they performed during her practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different than the one she practiced. One that I haven't read before. Modulus. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Actually, get out of, get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But the poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Don't you, Monica Dab? How dare you? Jovine, what's wrong? But nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Side note, I think the decision to just completely get rid of all music for this section is some of the best decisions they've made. It's such good sound design to like leave it very much awkwardly hanging, sitting on every single word, every single thought. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself, Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? 
I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told you yesterday things will be the same as they've always been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori! She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. It's really something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori. Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. No, no! Undo! Undo! Load! 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 No! 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 Nope, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Hey, I wonder if there's a traceback.txt still. No! 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 Here, all you and your stupid out near that day is it was hot near high oil ripment the oil on the server. Same. Not like this. I see an annoying girl running towards me in the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. No. 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 That girl is near real, but near my neighbor and good friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I get tired of waking up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and I look for the crosswalk to like, yep, r r r catch up to me. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content getting on by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there'd be any girls in there anyway. Feels bad, man. School day is an ordinary ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them will be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Jovine? Sayori. Monica? I'm back! Yeah, I just I just started this brand new game, Doki Doki Literature Club. It's super cool. Um, apparently we were some weird loner uh, and some really random cute girl just shows up. If only you had a childhood friend that would uh, drag you to a club. I know, right? That'd be great. You made sass jokes at Joe by hours. Oof. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me feels genuinely... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some spies to use in my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. 
Act 2 is spooky the first time going through, but so funny when you know when and where all the glitching happens, right? To be fair, I forgot where all of the glitching happens. I just know that it does. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it much more special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. The Wait, what did she say before that? The literature club or a literature club? A literature club. A literature club? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Oh, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Mm -hmm. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. Manga is literature. Ah. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. <laughs> hey, uh. Hey, Jovine. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh. I mean, I guess so, but. In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but you can't say that anything can be literature and then go manga isn't literature, right? Even video games can be literature. Bu -bu Bubble. If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Side note, I just started Legend of Korra Season 2. Uh... Asami is the best character, second only to... Sorry, so let me state this. Asami is the best character in Korra, full stop. Asami is the second best character in all of Avatar, full stop. There's only one character better and it's Toph, and I will fight anybody who disagrees. I don't even need to know all the characters. I, I just know that that's, that's a fact. The end. Thanks for playing, goodbye. Besides, how can I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Cabbage Man not even in top two? Cab Cabbage Man can suck it. <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, you know that? It, it, it's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll, I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Aw. Dude, those are the only two characters. Uh, side note, hot takes with Jovine. Y you want the hottest take? Here, here is a nuclear spicy take. The Legend of Korra is better than the original Last Avatar. By a lot. Season 2 isn't great, but if you get through it, then it really picks up for Season 3 and 4. I mean, I already think it's just objectively a better... I actually think Season 2 has been great so far. Like, insanely good. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. <laughs> I thought you went to watch Smash Brothers, Cyclone! This isn't... What, are you, what, what you doing here, buddy? I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. <laughs> Uh-oh, I lit everything on fire. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Would it kill the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. Monica dab. You know, if you would just say yes here, that would solve this entire game. GG, game solved, we win. Yes, I'm Monica's boyfriend. Everything can be at peace now. I'll, I'll take that hit. I'll make that sacrifice so she doesn't delete you. Actually, I'm really curious now, so I'm gonna put a save here, especially because there's an auto save already. And I wanna see what, if the, how kind of you, exactly. I wanna actually see if the files are genuinely missing. So step one, they clearly didn't clear, uh, okay, cool, thank God. I still have all those characters. Yep, they actually did delete the character files. Uh, there's the traceback.txt. 
Oh, geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? It'd probably be easier if I just deleted her. She's the one making this so difficult. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Um, container tighter, Doki Doki Literature Club. Not plus! Unacceptable! Uncaught VM runtime exception occurred. Execution stack. Okay. And then we got pictures. So all the pictures stay normal, too. Sweet. Wait, do I not get the new poem that she wrote that is very depressing and very clearly not good? Ah, here it is. In the first sketch of Sayori's third CG, this eventually was mirrored, making the final CG the only instance where Sayori's bow is on the opposite side of her head. That's so weird! I didn't even think about that! Can you delete any of the files? Probably, but I'm not sure I want to mess with that right now. Which one is that? Hold up, can I see? I have the original CG, right? Oh my god, it is! Because they literally just flipped it. I can't believe I never noticed that. Also, what song did I get? We're still missing a song. Oh, it's Sayonara. Thanks, I hate it. I need to boot it up and see the load screen anyways, because it's not going to show Say Sayori. Say, 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 Hey, look, it's Monica. All right. Natsuki. A girl with a sour attitude who's apparently named Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Mostly Monica. <laughs> You're not wrong. Her small figure maker looks like a fierce to you. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Jovan in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was gonna, well, you know... S sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should make some tea at least, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks into the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I sit a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the, as president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make sure the club is fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. And my favorite character, Monica. I don't know the right way to read that. You have to work hard to convince other people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such a different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. It looks way better in Twitch chat than on your screen box. Does it even work on my screen box? I can't see it because it's so tiny. Give me a sec. Oh wait, what am I doing? I can literally just project it onto the screen. Silly me. I can actually project this whole thing onto my screen, so I always see it. Uh, this one. Oh my god, it looks terrible on that. It's probably because those are unsupported fonts, you know? Like, this font doesn't support those letters. Yuri turns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before, we, uh, before setting down the teapot in front in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? But don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea always help you enjoy a good book? 
I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I just meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself and relief. So, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um... Considering how little I've read these past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, then, I guess. Natsuki, yes. Is it an only Natsuki no? Feels bad, man. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thing after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I don't know, that looks like a happy smile to me. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly compassionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to throw you for a loop? That's kind of aggressive now that I think about it. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp at something I can relate to on a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful in changing the way you look at the world, only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over for me to a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually write to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give me that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Um, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share sometime? Uh, no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm not a very confident writer yet, are I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Give me one second. That didn't fix that. I was really hoping that would fix that. I have double audio, and I don't know what's causing it. The truest form of writing is to write oneself. You must be willing to open up- Now it's fixed. Okay, sure. Willing to open up to your readers, exposing your true vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example, and Natsuki will feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Huh? Nat and Yuri. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at the Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Ah. Uh. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Thanks, Monica, for fixing the double audio. Yep, Monica's killing it. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably f start finding activities for us to all participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture this club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well? Hold on, there's still one problem. He's gonna say the thing and he's gonna make them all sad and I'm gonna be sad because he's gonna make them all sad. Mm -hmm. What's that? 
Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this whole time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I need someone to write to an act to write to for Natsuki. Oh, is there not something? I don't have to write everything for everybody. I was going to do write three for each of them. Click on the glitch word if one appears. Of course. I still have other clubs to look at and um, I lose my train of thought. Not this time? Sweet. So I just, well, do I lose out on the story if I don't play through it all? Because it, does it actually matter? I think no matter what, I get the good ending because the only thing that matters is act one. I'll save just in case. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. You basically get repeats of Act 1 scenes with extra glitchiness. Fair enough. The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one member before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Look at that Natsuki pout! Look at that pout, dude! I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay to get to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Don't let them down! Do you really mean that? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Yeah, but you didn't even make me cupcakes. I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks at me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No, I literally cannot. I feel the anxiety rolling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. With that, I depart the club and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer with these girls. All right. I just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure fortune will find me. Guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. You've unlocked a special poem. Cyclone, I get to read a special poem. Nothing I real. Nothing is real. Oh boy. What a good poem. Banger poem, to be honest. It's a, a little bit too truth. Just in case we're gonna do this. So there's nothing for writing to Yuri twice, is there? It's just writing uh, to. Thanks, the C thanks CIA for that wonderful poem. A. I don't think so. Okay, perfect. Well, just in case, I'll have it. Games, Basil, Diggle, Family, Lipstick, Dance. Excitement, vibrant. Vibrant is hers? Okay. Shiny, bouncy, clouds, vanilla, flying, bliss. I don't see any glitchy words. Did I miss one? Did I miss, or did they not show up till later?
Sayori, Sayori. Feels sad, man. Hi again. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> that is also rare. Feels bad, man. It might be rare, but that doesn't make it not hurt right here. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. I saw that. Thanks for keeping your promise, Jova. I hope this isn't too overwhelming a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, they won't see the end of it. I can't read this. Monica, step behind the text. Natsuki certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in this room. Mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and ma manga. The zoom. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki a disappointing glance. Anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might be interested in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Especially with that, that dope key change. Like you said, I'm just in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Oh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Um, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything. I said, no, 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 it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like I was vice president and all. But I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. The music glitch. Is that actually uncommon or is that normal? I'm pretty sure that's normal. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. It's hilarious how subtle they are. I, I mean, a keychain is not subtle. Especially when it's literally just all of a sudden the note is just like a half step down. But if you're not paying attention, you can move it. It's really common they are. I mean, yeah, but this game doesn't do it much. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? So cute! She even picked out a book she'll think I'll like despite me not reading much. Very, thank you. We'll definitely read this. You know what? I know what it actually is. It's not a key change. Well, okay, it is, but it's not. It's, the song is speeding up slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly until we get to the end, and then it's slowing back down. They, they sped it up exactly a half step. So it, it goes up a half step the whole time. That's why it's so subtle. Because it's literally, you're not noticing it because it's microtonal. Most, literally it's impossible to notice other than that one single jump. It's the pitch shift, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, but it's over time. You can also pitch shift without speeding and slowing down, but if you speed up and slow down, it almost always inherently does uh, pitch shift to a degree. Uh, YouTube does it really excellently where it doesn't really shift the pitch at all. I enthusiastically take the book. Huh. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rungering around the closet. Okay, so we've already done this, so I'm just going to look for the glitches. Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, we've already read all this, so I'm not going to waste my vocal cords on it. But I am going to specifically look for, um... Don't judge a book! Looking for the glitches. Don't judge a book! In fact, I'm going to show you exactly why. It's exceedingly moe. Cute girls doing cute things. Still the best genre. Scooch, scooch.
Typical slice of life affair. I'm gonna look directly into her eyes, because I know what's about to be coming. Do it, do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. Come on, where's your eyes? My dad would just beat the shit out of me if he found this. Natsuki hug. I'm so sorry, Natsuki. I'm so sorry, Natsuki! You deserve better! Time passes. Aw, she fell asleep. Wait, this is new, isn't it? Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight on me. Hey! Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? You're not you when you don't have your food. Throws Snickers at her. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is definitely a Snickers joke, but with a protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor. I'm surprised your dad lets her keep her hair pink. If you, what you talking about? That's a natural hair color. Don't be ridiculous. I told you not to give me... Mm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing her mouth. Don't worry. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. Skeesh. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Is there anything new here? Who should I show my poem to first? Natsuki! I told Natsuki I was interested in reading poems yesterday. It's only really fair I should go with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the thing I don't like. First of all, um... Wait, I'm pretty confident this is literally word for word the same thing so far. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. What's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when reading this. I want you to feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Well, I would be more comfortable if your poem was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and go, ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. This is literally word for word the same thing. Does this change at all? I'm looking for a glitch. There's gotta be a glitch, right? I usually get possessed with demons when I'm hungry. I mean, there are definitely some people who feel like that. Good poem. Great poem, actually. Hmm. Everything's still the same. Saving my voice. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Natsuki's feeling proud. I won't take that away from her. Because Natsuki's great. Doesn't Natsuki tell us to go, like, talk with Yuri because she's worried about Yuri if you're not even writing poems for her? Like, she specifically gives you a secret note to be like, hey, something's wrong with Yuri. Can you please care take care of her? Or does that happen if you write her poems, too? <clears throat> Yuri stares at the poem. Then it passes. Yeah, she gets upset. Yeah, on the third poem? Okay. Does that happen no matter what? Always? Oh. It's your first time writing a poem? Yep. Okay, so there's no reason for me to actually... Oh, wait. Wait, it actually lets me skip it? I didn't know that skip worked here. Hi. Having a good time so far? Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for a club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right. Keep that in mind. It's the same text boxes. I thought it was, but I didn't know whether or not it would let me skip it. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to show your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah. That's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it. Really? 
It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So I'll take that as a compliment. You say so. If you're interested in Natsuki, then I'll always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she does lose all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. It's just a guess, but I think she's so small because malnutrition's interfering with the adolescent growth. Feels bad, man. But hey, some guys are into petite girls, too, you know. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Sounds pretty good for somebody. Sometimes it's not very good. It's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Let's see. Let's read it then. Oh, wait. This is a continuation of the last one. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically looked at my surroundings. But burned eyes can no longer see colors. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ear. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air that I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. This one is the same. Like, she wrote... I, 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 isn't that new poem, but the same title? <sighs> I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Look on the bright side. You should be, uh, waste your worth on other people's perceptions and preferences. Thanks for that great lesson, Monica. Hey, why is Sayori hanging in the background? What the fuck? Not cool. Not cool. I've never seen that before. Do you not see it? It's literally, so go right in the center of the screen. You should see there's uh, four posters in the background. Yep, full, farthest right poster. Right next to the closet. I'm so mad. Are you serious? I've never looked. Zoom and enhance, please. I've never looked. That's so messed up. That's the most well-known glitch. Is it really? I, I To be fair, I just kind of watched the game, looked into some of the ARG, and then uh, saw the, the true ending. And that's the majority of what I did. I wasn't actually paying attention to most of the glitches. I'm so mad right now. That's so messed up. As if everyone was judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even though they're being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This isn't literature club after all. I sigh. I guess what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica was writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. It's a death note! They gingerly share uh, sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their each expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Isn't this the same thing? Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem with the I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Time for the clown fiesta. You know it. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Hmm? You mean you tried that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. I was looking for suggestions I would ask somebody who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Joe and I did too. So based on that, I'm glad you give you some nice suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but it's been a long time established in my writing style. I don't expect it to change in time soon unless the core across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Oh boy. I really hate that I get in the middle of all this. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in impress our new member, Yuri. So it's the same fight. What what happens when I don't have say to back up again? Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jet Wait, is this real? Hold up, is this real? Is this real? What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God.
That one is not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, I guess now's as good a time as any to be right back.